Okay, back again with Energy, right? We're in uh, Mesa, Arizona today. And uh, at this particular house, my customer had five to six estimates is what he told me. And not one other contractor mentioned the problem um, in the eaves with the wind washing and the soffits. So we went up there, we took a bunch of pictures and explained to him exactly what he had going on. And now in this video, we're going to show you the process of installing a baffle correctly, adding six to eight inches of blown in cellulose to bring it up to the R38 value, which is the recommended R value for Arizona. And then we also went through the duct system and noticed that a couple ducts have separated from the original sealant. So we're going to do a duct seal touch up on this house as well. We're going to show you that. So. Okay, back again with Energy Right. We're out in Mesa, Arizona today. We're going to be adding six to eight inches of blown in cellulose to bring it up to the R38 value. We have just about 3,600 square feet of attic space. And another thing we're going to be doing is a duct seal touch up, and let me show you why. Now originally when the duct system went in, it was duct sealed, but during our visual inspection, we came some across some of the interlocking teeth here, and they're separating and allowing some conditioned air or air conditioning to escape right back into the attic space. So we're going to go around, touch up all the units, and make sure that they're airtight. But another big problem in this attic space, which a lot of contractors tend to dodge and not pay attention to, very important aspect of insulating the attic space. Now down here in the eaves, this is a two-story house, so it gets a lot of wind through these soffit vents or bird vents. It's pushing all the insulation back and exposing the drywall. That's almost a foot, foot and a half of exposed drywall right there at the eave. That's allowing direct heat transfer. Now what we can do to fix that Okay, here we go. It's tight. Uh, tight spot. Gotta crawl through. Is install baffles. So you can see I've been installing the cardboard baffles here. I tuck them in all the way to the top plate and then I stuff them back with insulation. That way the eave is completely insulated. So let me show you how we do this. Okay. We have the cardboard baffles here. See all the exposed drywall. Try to check this down right here, see if it works. You take your baffle, it's kind of like a pizza box, you fold it up. Fold it down. down there you want to try to pull as much insulation back as you can this one's pretty clean down there so I like to stick my hand all the way down in there take it right to the top plate grab yourself a staple gun throw a few staples 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 on the side So that baffle has been installed all the way to the top plate. Then you want to take the insulation and stuff it all the way back. And then on to the next one. Man, that's a, a lot of exposed drywall, direct heat transfer. You put the thermal imaging gun up to that, you're gonna see a big red mark. All right, thank you. Okay, here we are. I have one side of the house complete with the baffles. You can see I crawled all the way down 
in this tight spot all the way down the eave and I installed these cardboard baffles stuffed them back with insulation and you can see now it has a pocket for the air to flow up over the insulation and prevent wind washing in the eave and expose the drywall any exposed drywall is direct heat transfer so I'll show you the other side let me get out of that tight spot okay here we go so you can see the baffles right there sorry all the insulations floating around okay off to the other side There you go. So baffles are the proper prep work prior to insulation. And it's the right way to do it. Get your energy right with energy right. Right, Ron? What? Get your energy right with energy right. I can't hear you. Okay, we put cap sheet up to retain the insulation. So if you come up in the attic, it doesn't fall down on you. Create a barrier. We buried the platform. Because it doesn't make sense to leave that area uninsulated. And we have an R38 blown in cellulose insulation, installed baffles, and a duct seal touch up. Looks really good. It's about 14 inches right there. Thank you.